Today's tech tip is about different ways to coil and carry a rope. So the first version of the coil we're going to do today is the butterfly coil or the backpacker's coil. Now when I was initially taught this, I was taught you have a mess of rope, you find the ends, you flake out the rope until you get to the middle. As you do, you get all the coils and the knots and the mess out of the rope. So once you found the middle marker of the rope, you then start to butterfly it over your shoulders. Some people like to use their thumb in the loop. It doesn't matter. You're just gonna put it over your shoulders like that. And you take the next section, put that over your shoulders. And you keep going till you get back to the ends of the rope. So now I've got a little bit of slack here. I've got the ends of my rope neatly draped over my shoulders. I'm gonna take one loop off so I have some extra rope. Take the rope off your shoulders, taking care to make sure the loops are approximately the same length. Drape it over your arm, put your hand through. You're gonna bring the tails around the main section of the rope two or three times. You're then going to put the rope in your hand that's through the coil. Pull a loop through like this. tail through that loop and what that does is it locks that rope off and now you have a tied coil of rope. Now we're going to turn this into a little backpack. Throw the rope over your back. And then you can either bring it straight back, go over top of the rope, bring it around to the front easy thing to do is just tie a square knot and literally you've made a backpack out of the rope. So we're back with a different version of the butterfly slash backpack coil. The first one I showed you, you got a mess of rope, you take the ends, you flake the rope out until you get to the middle and then you butterfly coil it. The nice thing about that is the rope is flaked as you're coiling it. The bad thing is you have to go through the rope twice. An easier, faster way is you simply take the ends, throw out one or two arm lengths, and then you just immediately begin butterfly coiling the rope without having to go all the way to the middle. Again, drape it over your arm, Put the tail around two or three times, pull it through, put the tail through that loop to lock it off. There's your butterfly coiled rope, put it over your back, tie it off with a square knot. If your tails are too long, you can put them through the end and or tie another square knot just to keep that out of the way. Same end result. If your rope is really knotted up, it might behoove you to flake out the whole thing, butterfly coil it from the middle, that way the rope isn't tangled. If the rope isn't very tangled, just start at the ends and you don't have to flake it out first. Now let's say you wanna backpack your rope, but you're actually wearing a backpack. How best to transport this rope other than carrying it or throwing it over like this. Now you can try and literally backpack it. As you can see, it's seated. The only issue is that rope is gonna slide around on your backpack. Sometimes it can slide up to the side, sometimes it'll drop down. It's a little bit more of a pain in the butt. An easier way is to simply offset it put it on one side of the backpack, and then you do the same thing. Now it's right close to you. You know the rope's gonna stay there. You can even hold it. If you're going through brush, you can pick the bottom of the rope up. It's not gonna get tangled on anything, but you don't have to carry it and it's not gonna fall off because it's right there at your side. 
only issue with this is if you're doing a lot of movement, it's very easy for this to slide off your shoulder and then the rope starts to move around and now you have a little bit of a problem. So a very easy way to carry the rope and have a backpack on is to have the more traditional mountaineer's coil instead of the butterfly coil. So the butterfly coil, you bring the rope around that way. For the mountaineer's coil, you bring the rope around the middle. This way. Make as many loops as you need. And you take the tails, run them through your last loop. Pull it tight, it loops the rope like this. A very easy way to carry a rope when you have a pack on, take that coiled section in the middle, literally drape it over your pack. It just sits right on the top and the rope will hug your body on both sides of the pack. The really nice thing about this is a, it's very easy to get the rope on and off. B, you don't have to try and get the rope around you. And you also don't have to have the weight of the rope on the outside of the pack or one side of you or the other, which when you're hiking around doing a lot of scrambling can make you off balance. One negative is of course, the rope can just fall off of you. But for ease of use and transport, if you do have a big pack, especially if you have a haul bag or something that extends up above you. Just do a Mountaineer's coil, literally put it over your shoulders, the rope will rest right here. Very easy to get on and off. So depending on what you're doing, if you don't have a pack on, build a backpack out of the rope using a butterfly coil, literally tie it around you. If you do have a pack on, you might want to use a Mountaineer's coil instead, it's much more comfortable.